29 next month and I've been bowling since I've been seven years old so 21 22 pins or 22 years I got <laughs> bowling on the brain what are your thoughts on today uh, today's a good day I mean it's everybody mass Maine New Hampshire and uh, Canada one bowl from each state Let's see who wins what do you feel how do you feel about it? I feel good yeah. I'm ready to bowl so <laughs> You think you're going to be the winner? I hope so. <laughs> Do you expect a big turnout? or? Um, the turnout really isn't as important as the records and, and the bowling that actually goes on. Um, obviously, we would hope that we have a big turnout, but um, you know, it doesn't always happen that way. How long have you been bowling for? 30 years. 30. Yeah, 30 years. Yeah. You don't want to know. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Over 40. Over 40. And how often do you play? Do you practice a lot? Or? Um, now I bowl twice a week, using the league. Um, all the open tournaments, Pro Tour, Can Am, any tournament I can. What do you do when you're not bowling? I'm a computer technician. All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the International Cannabis Bowling Association's annual championship roll off. Uh, this afternoon, uh, we should have a great event. The weather, of course, has uh, probably kept a lot of people outside. The colors and all being a little bit late. But we appreciate those coming down from our uh, provinces up in Canada and from the uh, either Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, or Massachusetts state. When I grew up, I grew up in New England too, but I used to always go 10 pin. And uh, I thought it was always great, but candle pin is so much tougher. So much tougher. I mean, can Ten pin, is all, you can always get a strike all the time, but this is tough to get strikes. So, so I, I, I enjoy this a lot better than ten pin, a lot better. Representing New Brunswick, Kelly Stoyles. Come on up, Kelly. Now, her average is just a little bit higher, a 129. Her high single, 174, high triple, 461. And she's representing the province of New Brunswick. We welcome you again, their right champion. What is your connection with candle pin bowling? I am a bowler. I bowl in the Pro League and the, um, the big worlds coming up in November. I bowl in the um, Pro Tour. And my fiance is one of the best bowlers around, Chris Sargent. For the men, representing Massachusetts, Chris Sargent from Methuen. Come on up, Chris. Chris has a 132 average, just a little bit higher than his dad. Y'all remember Gary. He's got a 213 single, high triple of 530, high five of 798. Give Gary a hand, representing Massachusetts. I mean, Chris. Chris. I'll keep it to family. So what brings you here today? I had to watch the kids bowl here, because Chris is from here anyway, so. Yeah. He bowls on my son's team all the time. Okay. And what, bring, what, what do you like about candle pin bowling? Because it seems, you know, around here especially, there's a big battle between the ten pinners and the candle pinners. Uh, ten pins don't last around here. We've had eight in the area that all started up and all died. All, all ten pins, right? Because I bowled in the leagues for 50 years, so... This has always been... I used to set them up when I was a kid. You know, so. Oh, really? So you've been involved with candle pin for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, six, better than 60 years. Yeah. Yep. Now I got my son here, was a champion on that Channel 50 last year. And uh, my grandson, that's his son. 
Only 15 years old, kid averages like 118. <laughs> He's gonna be a good one. Are you, so you're Chris, are you Chris Sargent's dad? No, 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 Gary Carrington's dad. I've been born since I was little, around four or five, because my dad's Gary Carrington, and I started because he got me in the game bowling. And that's how I started. What do you like about Gary? I like uh, I like throwing big scores. That's what I like, and I like having fun and bowling my friends. Well, if you like throwing big scores, why don't you go to do ten pin? Ten pin. Well, ten pin. I see. T game of ten pin is too easy. I mean, you hit the head pin and you get a strike almost every other time. It's candle pin's a lot more difficult. I like the a lot more challenging. You know? And now, just to let you know, the bowlers have selected the lanes that they will be bowling on today. The men will be bowling on a pair of lanes, five frames at a time, five strings. Then they'll break and they'll move over to where the ladies are bowling, and the ladies will move over to where the men are bowling. Again, all contestants have selected who's up first, and so on. Again, cheer all you want, holler and scream, because that's what they like to hear. To the bowlers, good luck. couple balls to settle down. And how are you bowling? You're bowling well? I'm bowling well, yeah. I'm bowling pretty well. Are you in the lead? I'm in the lead. Yes, Miss Kelly. Still pretty close. Uh, girls are doing a real fine job with Kelly only two down and uh, she needs a good fill here which she didn't get but uh, her and Beth are doing a great job up there. here to, to uh, cheer them on, but um, I guess we have to hit that with the weather. Yeah. 